I think with Mike, you, you first just look at the arm. He's He's got a really good arm. He can make every single throw, short, intermediate, uh, has a great deep, deep ball. So all those things add up. He's got great instincts, good feel for the game, and, and can process coverage. So you, you add all those traits together, and that's where you can see the production that he's had at, at Indiana and then, and then at Washington the last couple of years. Some of the stuff that he, he did in that Texas game, you know, was really the game that kind of solidified it for me that this guy is, is a real dude that has got a shot to be, you know, a very good pro. Any time that you're able to stress the defense with the width of the field vertically, uh, that's the hardest part for them to be able to, to have every single throw in your toolbox, whether it's on the left hash to an out cut 12 yards uh, to the opposite sideline. So all, all those different things, you know, combine him to be a really good, you know, future NFL quarterback. Can make every throw on the field, can touch every part of the field with his arm. Um, and he does it all by not taking any sacks. And on top of it, he's got a really strong arm. I mean, th that shows up when you look at their offense in general. It's downfield, so it's bombs away when he was playing. His self-belief that he has about his ability to play and play at the next level, and just being around the guy, the sense of, of calm, the confidence, everything he kind of exudes, he just you naturally gravitate towards that. He has great vision downfield. Um, he's able to see the big picture. A lot of guys see half the field, but this kid, he sees the field and he does a great job of being able to then accurately put the ball where it's supposed to be. You know, the more and more you watch this guy play football, the more and more just the better it gets. Like, you can't wait to turn on the next game to keep looking at some of the things that he's doing.